are really complicated and really messy, but some families can be killer. Keep watching to find out which book we're talking about today. Hey, it's Kyla Denagno and welcome to Kyla's Reading Day. So today we are talking about a great book that I just finished. It was absolutely incredible. I was really surprised. My first time reading the author and it was incredible. <laughs> and there will be spoilers. So if you've not read the book but it's on your to read list, <laughs> maybe wait until you finish it because there will be spoilers. So today we are talking about a really great thriller murder mystery that I just read. And that was called Not a Happy Family. So that's the title of the book. The author of the book is Shari Lapina. The genre of the book is fiction. The biggest theme is suspense and thriller. So for me, the important plot twist was when Charlotte found out that her childhood friend was her half-sister. <sighs> I've read enough books and watched enough TV to know that half-siblings is a very common theme in literature. It's a very common theme in TV plots, right? But this one really blew my socks off. Not even when we found out who was harming people in the family, but when I found out that Charlotte had grown up with this person, played with them, hung out with them, talked to them, gossiped with them, all of this stuff, and then to later find out that that was your half-sibling, your parents knew it was your half-sibling, and they let you hang out with them like that's a betrayal. It's going to take years to get over that kind of betrayal. Not for Charlotte. And when you read the book, you'll be like, okay, no, she'll bounce back. But for anybody else, that type of betrayal would really crush you because that just, there's so many layers, so many layers. <laughs> and so this is a book that I wouldn't need to read again because I don't think I'll ever forget the plot. It was really that surprising to me, especially because I have never read this author before. And so since then, I've done a quick deep dive into all of her books to see if she writes on similar themes and in a similar fashion. And she is an incredible writer in all of her other works as well. But I don't think I would forget the plot. So this one has a bonus because if they if anyone creates a movie about this, I'll watch that in a heartbeat. And it probably would be a movie that I would watch over and over again. But the themes of the book, I don't think I'll forget them. So I don't think that I would read this one again, but I did enjoy it. And so lastly, why was this important to me or meant a lot? Just because people often talk about how resilient kids are and they can get over things. And with these characters in the book, they're adults by the time they find out that they have siblings. But you know, people become resilient and get over things because people go through things. And this was something that the characters in the book did not have to go through. The parents could have told them it would have been incredibly difficult, but they could have told them, right? They didn't have to find out as adults that their childhood best friend was actually their sister. That's, it still doesn't sit right with me if you can't tell. <laughs> so that's it for Kyla's reading day. That was my quick little review on Not a Happy Family. Leave a comment, let me know if you're enjoying it. If you've read anything else by the author, Please let me know how you felt about those books or give me a recommendation of a book that I need to read. Thanks for watching Kyla's Reading Day. Talk to you later.